If Villanelle is alive, you need to find her. Stop, Rajiv. I can feel your excitement. At the end of season one, Eve really crosses a line. And then you'll see the fallout from that. But I can safely say that the second season um, is much darker for Eve's journey and that she's pushed to uh, just the boundaries of, uh, of her, I think, her own morality, her own sexuality, um, and her character. You look amazing. Can I take a picture of you for my Instagram? No. No, of course not. Get a real life. I don't know whether I will ever get a character like her again. You know, that's why I'm trying to, trying to really savor, savor it up. Because oh, I think it's very rare that you get, um, uh, you know, uh, someone who is so complex and someone who I'm still trying to figure out myself. You know, I think that's the beauty of, of playing her and also kind of um, playing the relationship between Villanelle and Eve is that I don't feel like me and Sandra have all the answers yet. And as we as we do each scene together, it's something that we, we find more and more. You know, actually, Jordan and I spent a, a lot more, more time together um, in, in either, even uh, the, the passing in the, in the makeup trailer, much more this season than we did last season. And I feel, you know, very deeply bonded to her. What are you looking for? A kitchen knife. What for? To stab you with. Well, what will be exciting for the audience is to see how what Villanelle's response is, you know, whether it's as straightforward as they think it's going to be, or, you know, uh, whether this means something completely different for them now. This connection that Eve has made between the two of them is, um, yeah, it's kind of fascinating. I hope fans are satisfied. It's, uh, you know, it's, um, you just, you just, you just never know. We, you know, did our best and really, I know for me, really been trying to unearth unearth the darker parts and the more difficult parts of Eve's character. Sometimes when you love someone, you will do crazy things. 